Okay, so now that you have uh, your questions in your survey and they're ready to go, um, you might want to format this. So um, at any point in time, at the very bottom of the page, you can see that there's a link here. That this is a link to your actual uh, survey that you've been creating. So I just clicked on it. New window pops up. It shows me what my survey looks like. Now, you know, that might be as simple as you need it, but um, what's kind of cool is uh, that it, Google gives you the option to dress it up a little bit. So you can, if you want, uh, go up to, right now it shows the theme is plain, and I can click on that, and it pulls up all these different other kinds of themes. So here's a financial chart theme. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so it basically just puts a, a picture up at the top. Um, you know, I don't like how big this picture is, so I kind of like the more simple ones. In fact, um, there's over 97 ones. The one I like, of course, is on the very last page. But you can kind of go through these and find one that uh, sort of meets the theme of your business or uh, what you're attempting to do. But again, the one that I like is on the last page, and it's simply called blue. When I click on that, now my survey looks like that. I don't know why, I just kind of like that the contrast of the colors looks a little more professional. So um, once I find one that I like, I'm going to click on this apply button and now that you can see that, that theme is now the blue. So that's one way you can kind of dress it up. The next thing that you want to do is um, uh, you're going to want to publish the, uh, the survey um, or I should say rather that there is this default Link. So if you wanted, you could send an email and send people to this link down here, and that'll send them to this page that looks like this. But another another way that you can kind of, uh, you know, make it kind of cool is if you go to uh, More Actions and then click on Embed. And then this gives you a, a little snippet of code here that you can copy and send to your web person and say, hey, you know, I want you to make a new page so it'd be you know your domain name dot com forward slash survey and then they would copy and paste that into the code and then your code uh, or that um, that survey would actually look like it exists on your website so that might be kind of a neat way that you could brand it a little bit as well so that's something to consider and then in the next video I'm going to show you what to do once you get those responses um, and uh, that's that's where it gets really cool that's where uh, I get very excited about what Google Docs uh, has enabled us to do for our business, so uh, I will show you that here next.